now moment generating function of a gamma distribution moment generating function of gamma distribution so for that m of t is equal to e of e power tx that is the formula so we know that e of x that is equal to mean is in the continuous form is x into f of x dx x into f of x dx in the same form here e power t uh, x into f of x dx and this is for gamma distribution so the limit is from 0 to infinity x carries 0 to infinity now integral 0 to infinity e power t x into f of x that is gamma now function is uh, x power alpha minus 1 into e power minus x by beta divided by gamma alpha beta power alpha into dx which is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power tx e power minus x by beta so e power if you take minus x outside you can write 1 by beta minus t into x power alpha minus 1 divided by gamma alpha beta power alpha into dx now you can take the lcm so that this become integral 0 to infinity e power minus x 1 minus beta t divided by beta into uh, x power alpha minus 1 divided by gamma alpha beta power alpha into dx you can consider this term as y so let y is equal to x into 1 minus beta t divided by beta so that x is equal to beta y divided by 1 minus beta t now differentiate dx is equal to beta divided by 1 minus beta t into dy again x carries 0 to infinity so that uh, substitute uh, when x is equal to 0 y becomes x equal to 0 y becomes 0 similarly when x equal to infinity y equal to infinity substitute in this equation this is equation number one so equation one implies this is right hand side is m of t so that you can write one implies that is this equation m of t is equal to integral same limit 0 to infinity e power minus in this place you can substitute y into in this x place you can substitute beta y divided by 1 minus beta t the whole power alpha minus 1 into in the place of dx you can substitute beta divided by 1 minus beta t into dy divided by gamma alpha into beta power alpha now you have to do little simplification so that uh, this is equal to integral 0 to infinity uh, here uh, beta power alpha minus 1 here beta power 1 so that become beta power alpha then uh, y power alpha minus 1 then e power minus y then dy divided by 1 minus beta e the whole power alpha minus 1 1 minus bt the whole power 1 so that 1 minus bt the whole power alpha then the remaining gamma alpha beta power alpha so that this integral is depends for y y axis uh, sorry uh, variable y so that take the remaining everything outside so beta power alpha divided by 1 minus beta t the whole power alpha gamma alpha beta power alpha write the remaining integral 0 to infinity y power alpha minus 1 e power minus y into dy this is nothing but our gamma integral gamma integral so that you can write beta power alpha divided by 1 minus beta t the whole power alpha to gamma alpha beta power alpha yeah you can cancel this two and this is gamma integral gamma alpha again these two get cancelled so that we will get 1 minus beta t the whole power alpha and that is 1 minus beta t the whole power minus alpha with the condition that t less than 1 by beta if uh, t is equal to 1 by beta uh, this becomes 0 1 minus beta into 1 by beta that becomes 0 so the restriction is there so t less than 1 by beta the moment generating function is function of gamma distribution is 1 minus beta t the whole power minus alpha now we can see mean and variance of gamma distribution mean and variance of gamma distribution so for that here we can use by 
uh, MGF using moment generating function. So, moment generating function we know that is m of t is equal to that is the moment generating function of the gamma distribution just before slide we see 1 minus beta t the whole power minus alpha with t less than 1 by beta. Now, uh, for finding variance you have to differentiate it. So, m dash of t is equal to minus alpha into 1 minus beta beta t into differentiate with respect to t so that minus t. So, which is equal to uh, alpha into 1 uh, sorry here it is beta. So, alpha beta into 1 minus beta t the whole power minus alpha minus 1 differentiate x power n, n x power n minus 1 such a way. So, here minus alpha minus 1. Now, at t is equal to 0 this become m dash of 0 is equal to alpha beta into 1 minus 0. So, that it is 1 that says nothing but this is mean. Mean of the gamma distribution is alpha beta. In the same way you have to find for variance. So, for that you have to differentiate this once again. So, that differentiate this equation equation number 1. Uh, yeah, you get this with respect to t. So, that this become f double dash of t is equal to alpha beta then here minus alpha minus 1 into 1 minus beta t the whole power minus alpha minus 2 into minus beta. So, that this become if you take minus outside minus then minus plus. So, that alpha beta square alpha plus 1 into 1 minus beta t the whole power minus alpha minus 2. The same way you have to proceed for at t is equal to 0. So, when t is equal to 0, when t is equal to 0 substitute here m double dash of t is equal to sorry 0 is equal to in this place this becomes 0. So, that the remaining will be alpha beta square into alpha plus 1 into 1. Now, to find the variance um, the formula for variance is sigma square is equal to e of x square minus e of x the whole square, but here using mgf. So, you have to use m double dash of 0 uh, m double dash of 0 minus m dash of 0 the whole square. So, m double dash of 0 is here alpha beta square into alpha plus b alpha plus 1 minus m dash of 0 already we found out that is alpha beta. So, that this is equal to alpha square right alpha square beta square plus alpha beta square minus alpha square beta square. So, these two get cancelled which is equal to alpha beta square. So, the mean of the gamma distribution is alpha beta and the variance of the gamma distribution is alpha beta square.